terms of getting picks. Tell us about that play. Yeah, I love love the stadium for sure. It's a good feeling in there, and uh, everybody was telling me all week, especially when we showed up, that like you caught a pick right here last year, so you got to do it again. And I was like, yeah, and it came. So I'm just happy it came. Happy I caught it. I wish I would have scored, but we ended up scoring, so it was all good. You playing twos for that? For sure. <laughs> yeah, Rushing. Oh, just that, that play though, and then the time of the game when you guys turn that into seven right there, that ends up being a huge swing in the game. I mean, how, how much more does that? Is that gratifying, the whole thing for you? I mean, it means a lot because you always want to make plays that affect the game in a positive way. And I know that um, we, we came out a little slow. So, like, for that to, like, pick us up a little bit or as much as it did, it, it, it was a lot to me. You know, I wish we would have came out second half and played a lot faster to carry from that, which we can learn from going forward. But, you know, it meant a lot to me just to be able to do anything I can to help my team win. As a, as a defender, obviously, probably one of the funnest things is to be told to go get the quarterback. In that case, you weren't. And Eric, Eric was kind of joking around us with us yesterday about this. But like, so what kind of goes through mind when you're basically like the only guy in like the front seven that's not going after the quarterback? Yeah. Then? Um. Just you know, just doing my job first and foremost, and then um, just catching the ball when it's thrown to you. We knew we were a key in his eyes, and we knew if we were just doing our job, he'll throw it to us, and uh, we made the play. That's when it came. It sounds like that was a little bit of a also a learning moment from you. Eric mentioned like maybe they used similar technique earlier in the year and didn't quite get that result. Yeah, so we played a lot of uh, running quarterbacks earlier in the season and then uh, started seeing some pocket passers. So the technique kind of changes when you're facing a running quarterback rather than a, a throwing pocket guy. So uh, it's just a fine medium, you know, whether it's a trigger on the quarterback or to stay in coverage. And in that time, you know, I chose right, stayed in coverage, and I made the play. But um, if you were to scramble a run, that'd be my job, too, to go get him down. So it's just a fine line that we've been working. So. How much has this defense needed plays like that? How much? How, how, how can you hope that can kind of jumpstart things here? I mean, we saw how much the the game changing plays, the fumble recoveries were against Oregon. I mean, just you guys been lacking some of those this year. I mean, how, how can this be the start of that? Hopefully. I hope so, for sure. Uh, I know that we're low on picks this year, and uh, we've got this all the sacks that come for it. But uh, we we'd love to have a lot more picks. So. Um, for that to be something that came in such a big moment, you know, it's a good thing for for the whole team, and I hope that it just opens up the floodgates and we start getting a lot more picks. But I mean, there'd probably be a more picks on the board if we had less sacks because we have so many sacks, so we don't even get the ball off. But um, yeah, just hope it, it starts to trend. Does that, does that play go through slow motion? Like, I mean, like the moment you dropped and you saw Taj look to his left, it was like, oh god, he's gonna throw a pick, and he did. But does, like for you, is that like does that go through slow motion, or how does it how does it go in your head? Yeah, honestly, like when plays like that come, you don't really like think too much until the end recap and when you're watching it. But like as the play goes, I don't really have like much thought in my head at all. Honestly, like the play just kind of starts. Uh, you make the play, it ends, and it's just like, oh damn, like you know, big play in the game. But yeah, no, you don't really think too much as you're playing the game. It's kind of just a free, free reign out there. High expectations for you this year, preseason. You were all league last year. Are you living up to your own expectations this year? My expectation this year, I mean, was to win games. And I'm just so happy that we're doing it, you know, to a high level. And uh, if I can help my team more to keep winning, I'm going to do that. And uh, whatever role I'm playing this year, if it results in winning, I'm fine with that too. So uh, just whatever expectations have set for me is just between me and the Lord. And I'm just happy with how the season's going, honestly. You mentioned the sacks. I mean, your one, your team's one sack away from your total from all of last season. I mean, how, how you're leading the nation in sacks. Like, how do you just kind of? So many different guys are getting them. Like, how yeah. do you just kind of put into words all the sacks? I mean, it's honestly crazy how we're already at that number. But uh, we we knew in the preseason and when we were working it all, like we'd have a lot more sacks on the table that we'd get, and a lot of different guys, you know, going to get them. So last year was kind of like uh, the same guys, I would say, getting the sacks. But this year is so spread out because I feel like we're a versatile defense. You know, like everybody. Can, can go attack the quarterback and everybody's making plays. And when they're keying to me or keying to Ahmed a lot more, it's opening up, um, you know, lanes for other guys to go make plays and we're making them. So that, I mean, couldn't be prouder of our guys and, and how it's spread around. When you look at film of San Diego State, you know, what do you see? What do they do well? <clears throat> yeah, they play hard. Uh, they're undefeated in conference. So we know that they're going to play, play hard against us. And we know that this is a big game for them and us. So, uh, we know that, that they're going to come out and give us their best shot. Uh, we know their O-line plays pretty well together, and uh, their running back is a pretty good player, and he, he want, they want to run the ball, you know, so if we could just stop that, uh, that's the goal. What, uh, what, what, stands, what stands out about Marquez Cooper, their running back? What, what does he do that's special? 
I mean, yeah, he's a good player. He, he's been around college football for a long time. I think he's like the leading rusher uh, still playing in college or something like that. So I know that uh, he's a good player. You know, he's going to come to play and uh, he, he wants to make the plays for his team and he's that guy for them. So that's our job to, you know, neutralize him and do the best we can. With, uh, I don't know if Jade's not technically that much younger than you. Just, you just played at such a young age here. It feels like you've been here for a while. But what's it like to see a young guy like that figure it out and then just like become a dude it's almost overnight? It's huge. Uh, we, we knew the work he was putting in in the off season to see to see it come into fruition for him is, is special. Honestly, I, I love the way he comes to work every single day, and I knew that uh, he'd have a big year. So for him to keep playing and doing what he's doing, it, it's good for us because we know that we have somebody else on the defensive line that's going to go out there and just play his heart out and make plays. And uh, I was joking with Jabril, like we were watching the UNLV game from last year, and I was like, those are two very different players out there because he got a good amount of snaps that game too. And uh, he just plays so much more fast, so much more confident, and. Uh, he, he's a leater and he makes plays, so that's all we expect from him. I don't know, this is the end. You want to be able to wreck the game, and on that, that third series, you know, if he's threatened to go up like seventeen to three, and he he sniffs out that trick play, and then two plays later he gets a sack and a forty-four yard field goal becomes a fifty-two yard field goal, which apparently was massively different for you and these kicker. Like, just how impressive was that sequence by by Jaden? How much did he just kind of? Oh, save the game is the right thing, but man, seventeen three is a whole different field than yeah, than fourteen sure. yeah. three with the ball midfield. That's a huge play, and we talk about when those plays come to you, you got to be ready to make them. So, but we got to prepare that way, and he's done that, and uh, he he stayed smart, you know, stayed backside. And we talked about like they were gonna try some trick stuff or any reverses or anything. So he was staying backside all week, and in the game he stayed there and he went and affected the pass. And then obviously the big sack that was a huge play. I feel like it uh, kind of jump started the sacks in the game. And then obviously made the field goal a lot longer and they ended up missing it. So all of those is just a combination of just like great plays by him and then uh, affecting the game in a positive way. You, you guys notice that Tubes finally got his first sack after being here forever? Yeah, that's that's dope for us. Honestly, we were all excited for him. Uh, we blitz a lot of different guys and we were just surprised that he hasn't got one yet. But um, he had so many tackles and sacks and, you know, it just it, it's special. So. I, I heard Ashton likes to cook. You're one of his roommates, and I heard he's cooking for you guys all the time. Is he a pretty good chef, and does he have one maybe item that he cooks that you like better than anything else? Uh, yeah, he cooks often. I mean, he doesn't cook as often as he did in the off season because you know, kind of in the season we get fed or we just go out to eat. But uh, he cooks a good amount of salmon, some chicken. I, I like that the best, honestly. It's good for you, fuels you up really well, and uh, we joke like we'll go out and get food, and we're like, it's not like home, man. It's home cooked meal, and. We just laugh about it, but like, yeah, he likes to cook, and we're gonna eat it every time. So. Sweet.